Hi everyone, I'm Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And today I'm joined by Stuart and Chantel Winograd and we have something in common. We both crazily moved our families to the former Soviet Union in the 90s. We both planted Messianic congregations, but they did something even more crazy than I did. You guys stayed in Belarus and you pastored the congregations that you planted. We actually planted one in Berdichev, Ukraine, and we're blessed that it's still going on today. But I think after the first week we were gone, you stayed. What was it like living with your family in Belarus? Yeah, we lived there 12 years with our four children and uh, God was moving powerfully. The Jewish people were open. We saw about 250 Jewish people born again into the kingdom, a few hundred people from the nations. And God gave us a real heart for the people. And the scripture that really came alive to us was from First Thessalonians 2, where Paul said, we loved you so much that we gave you not only the gospel, but our very lives. And that's how we felt about the well, people. Speaking of your lives, and I know because I did live in Ukraine for a year, just living is not easy when you don't speak the language. What was it like buying groceries? That was really challenging because first of all, the system is different than the shopping centers in America. You have to go to the counter, show them what you want to buy, find out how much it costs, and then go pay for it, and then come back and get it. And so I didn't know the language. I had to bring a pad, and I had to use some, um, you know, hand movement sometimes to demonstrate what I needed to I, buy. I once acted like a chicken. Yes. I spent 10 minutes trying to buy eggs, and I finally acted like a chicken. He goes, oh! and whatever the Russian word for eggs is. You know, she'd be out sometimes four to six hours, Ron, and she'd come home with enough food for like a day and a half. Where in America, we'd be out for an hour and we'd come home with enough food for a week. Well, you know, we shopped at the outdoor market in Odessa, Ukraine. Mm. And by the end of a year, the last day we were there, my wife, who is much more social than me, she was going from booth to booth. People were crying knowing that we were leaving. They, they really had become dear to our hearts. Now, we brought our three kids with us. It was an adjustment for them. What about your four? Yeah, it was adjustment for them, especially the language, because, uh, you know, it was hard for them and they're quite outgoing, but they still weren't afraid to go to neighbors and ask for the kids to come and play with them. And uh, they managed, really. And after two years, they all thanked us for having done this. At first, they were a little bit like, opposed to it but after two years they think did they learn russian yes they learned russian actually we ended up with one son in love from belarus through this whole thing wow now you planted a congregation give me a testimony of some of a jewish person who came to faith i want to tell you about mikhail Israelovich. he was one of our early fruit uh and he was 89 years old we saw a lot of young people come into the kingdom also, but Mikhail was unique. He was a survivor of the Leningrad siege. He was laying in bed for four years, couldn't get out of bed. He was totally paralyzed, and uh, he was totally dependent upon a neighbor and a nephew. Well, one of the members of our congregation began to visit him, this Babushka, and she said, Rabbi Stewart, I was... Babushka, that's like a grandmother. Yeah, I was listening to your teaching, she said, and uh, he was real mean and grouchy. I cast the devils away. I shared the love of Yeshua <laughs> with him, and he came to the Lord. Will you come and immerse him in water? He can't walk. And I said, sure. We brought four guys. We immersed him in his bathtub, and when we're ready to pick him up and take him out, he says, no, 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 no. And we said, what? He says, I'm going to walk. He hadn't walked in four years. And he had faith. And the way he said it is, I knew after I got my water procedure, <laughs> I would be healed. And he walked out and he came to congregation on time until he passed on at 92. We're going to continue with Stuart and Chantel, but go to God.tv so you never miss an episode. And you can find me at roncantor.com. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.